I enjoy puzzle games, especially puzzle platformers. I think my video on Sooty Hakon over on my personal channel should make that obvious. And every so often I come across a really unique take on the genre, one that takes it to new dimensions. Literally in this case. 2D and Top D by indie dev Diets Rebi combines 2D platforming elements with top down isometric gameplay to add a new angle to its puzzles. With the press of a button, the player can swap between two separate perspectives and must figure out how to navigate both in order to get its duo of heroes to the escape portal in every stage, or beat the game's handful of bosses. Most of this action will come from Top D, our top down hero, who can move in eight directions and, more importantly, move blocks around the stage. These blocks will have a variety of effects on our platforming hero 2D's version of the level. This can be as simple as placing blocks in 2D's path in order to generate platforms for him to jump on, or placing blocks over drains so that water can't flow out and block 2D's path. It all really comes down to how these blocks are used, where they are positioned, and sometimes getting the timing just right. For example, special blocks with arrows on them will always fall down when in 2D's dimension, but will stop in top D's. So setting them up correctly for top D, swapping to 2D and then back to top D at the right moment is a valid puzzle solution. Figuring out the elements of each of top D's blocks is just as pivotal as figuring out what our two heroes can do on their own, which honestly isn't a lot. The two will get immediately killed by any enemy unless you use the game's plethora of accessibility options to make the game easier, and enemies can only really be killed by luring them into environmental traps. That said, you may not want to kill enemies. Every stage comes with at least two ladybugs to collect, a red one for beating the stage under a certain time, and a blue one for using minimal amount of flips. There's also a purple one for not killing any enemies, and this only appears on stages where enemies appear, of course. Getting a certain number of these will unlock the final sixth world, and getting them all unlocks white ladybugs, which is this game's ultra challenge. For those inclined, getting the ladybugs is where a lot of time in the game will go, as they are not easy at all, especially the red ones which sometimes require frame perfect finishes of a level. And these levels are not easy, the first two worlds I had little trouble with, but from world 3 onwards the difficulty of puzzles increased greatly, and with no built in hint system like other games of this genre, players will really need to flex their brain cells to push forward. For those not interested in going for 100% however, there are 5 worlds full of interesting and usually clever puzzles that will really push the player's thinking skills. It was an interesting idea for a puzzle game, and one that I think worked. So if puzzle platformers are something you enjoy, then this game is for you. I really like the concept of this game and I remember when it came out on Steam last year so I'm very happy that it's now come to Nintendo Switch. If this is a game that you're interested in, then let us know in the comments below. Did our video sort of sway you to picking it up or anything like that? We'd love to hear it. Our patrons from $5 up are on screen right now. We want to give them a special thank you. A link to the patron is down below. And let us know what other sort of games you'd want us to review, both new and old. And if we do decide to cover it, make sure you catch that video by subscribing and always remembering to return to the source.